So as a result, please write your name, roll number in the chat box. So today our topic is sequence and series. Now block two started. So in the block two, so the first unit is block two. is basically from your school syllabus 11 12 same syllabus i think now still students are joining so let's see another one or two minutes then uh, i start to sharing mode so as is well, if any questions in mind, you may ask right now. The some basic idea about the series and sequence that you have to clear in your mind. And this chapter, this unit also important because the last time from this unit, two questions has come. So five, five, ten marks. And that way it is very important unit from the exam point of view. We will get two questions in the next, next time also. Thing here, a lot of outside students is also there outside Ignu. I don't know how what is coming. Um, people have not uh, because at the time of joining, I have seen outside Ignu. What does it mean? Anybody can clarify? But what are the students are joining? This is all not. All are in online program. Maybe other program is also. Rahul, can you tell me what is happening outside Ignu? I'm not getting actually why. Are... Rahul is here. Or Anshul, Anshul Sharma. Outside you, Dheeraj Kumar. Dheeraj Kumar, are you hearing me? Dheeraj Kumar. Dheeraj Kumar, can you explain me? Actually, there is no harm. I cannot deny, okay, this is for the online platform. Students can allow to listen, no problem. It's a learning process. But only for my knowledge, I should know what is the outside IGNU and uh, what is this actually. So can you clarify? Anybody?
somebody is joining and also left jugal datta has left the meeting students are joining and leaving the meeting also how it is happening ajay kumar is also left the meeting jugal datta one more why did have a network issue i think i am hearing or not my my sound is clear yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir i can hear sound is clear sir okay so okay no, i think I uh, i'm not getting the response about the outside even students so don't worry actually those who are joining okay for learning there is no question mark but only thing um, for how to record all these things that is a problem so those are already ignu enrollment and ignu students that have some chart that have some record fine but those are outside ignu uh, but i don't know how they are attendance and all these things that is um, surprising anyway so no problem uh so as is all uh now 87 so another 5 minutes so as is all please come uh, i take a uh, screenshot uh, so camera on and take the photos because this skipping for two days at as some sort of attendance also the screenshot means how many students are present and the photos so that it will be some sort of attendance also okay so now 20 minutes and this so okay remember to run this thing alok ah, okay alok has also come okay fine so now let's see now okay then see how it is coming out Just a minute, and just save the file in the proper place. <coughs> Is Okay, so I can now close it. So okay, I think now, as usual, you can switch off the camera and listen carefully all these things for better better connectivity. Your camera data will be more so. Like so anyhow, so before start. Uh, as is well like to say something the sequence and series what is the sequence and what is the series and what are the unit says okay. and from particular this unit what we learn that we have to discuss it so in this chapter in this unit basically you have to uh, know about the sequence then series then arithmetic progression that is in short we are telling the ap and geometric progressions that is also in short we are saying gp and your harmonic progression that is in hp so there are three four five things you should know as a uh, as a clear the concept what we going for this thing. sequence as you know sequence is a order list because first you should know the number of terms is called how many number of terms count it is the length of the sequence 
and the sequence is a is a basically a discrete functions. Um, so the sequence is as is well, you are giving an order, order. And suppose in the restaurant, anywhere, five plates, six plates, whatever. That how much sequence you have that you are giving. But in the case of series, there is a sum of series is is the other way the sum sum of the total terms. So that total terms of sequence, whatever the sequence that sum up the things that we can say is it a series. So there is a basic difference between sequence and and your uh, series. So sequence is in one word you have to calculate is the order list and series is a sum of this is total sum of after the adding all these things we can get a series. So these two things you can keep it in mind right now. Then when when we go for the solution, then it will be better way you can understand. Then uh, you have to go for AP arithmetic things that is some sort of sequences. For example, one, three, five, seven, nine. In this series, you see it is a some sort of linear fashion. So the linear means every time you are getting difference is common, constant. Means three minus one, you are getting two. Five minus three, you are getting two. Seven minus five, you are getting so all the time one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. In this way, that that, that type of series or the type of the things. In the sequence, whatever you can say, the sequence are first terms, second terms, whatever they is there. First, suppose for example, if we say one, then three, then five. In this case, in this uh, sequence, first term is one. So sometimes we have to identify which will be the twentieth terms or twenty-fifth terms. So you have to calculate it. For that, some formula is there. And first of all, you have to identify that uh, that series or sequence. That sequence is that sequence is uh, AP or not? I mean, because it will fulfill the arithmetic progression or not? First, you have to identify. Excuse me, sir. How? When it is individual numbers, not independent, then you can say it is it. AP, you can go for the arithmetic progression. So anyway, so that uh, will be more clear when I will start the presentations. So before start, uh, if any, if you want to say something regarding these things, as I told you, these units are basically AP, GP, and uh, harmonic HP. There are three things. I will show you some of the solutions based on the exam pattern and last time as i told you last time two question has come five marks plus five marks so 10 marks has come so that way the, this unit is also important for the next coming uh, your exam time so <clears throat> i hope uh, those who are in the 11 12 that uh, uh, apgp they have already done and uh, if any doubt in between, you can also ask me during my uh, presentation. You can also uh, clearing the doubt when I start explaining the steps. So carefully you have to see the steps are important. Clear the concept where uh, the things are coming. Another thing, other way I can say it. Don't confuse because you see. In your BCA computer science, the syllabus is selected. Mathematics is a very fast subject. So units, what are the units are here? That is selection in such a way which are really required in the computer science. Throughout the computer science, in computer engineering, you see the data management, basically data analysis, data implementation calculate the data, analyze the data. That is the basic idea 
in this your syllabus uh, in this BCA courses. You should know the techniques. Suppose you have a huge data, different type of varieties data is there. How to implement the data and how to utilize the data. So for that, some logic is there. So mathematics are coming in between because math only can give you the logic. So you have to understand the logic. Who will give you the logic? Mathematics. And based on these, you can go ahead for the other things. Network management, data management, your computer, whatever the uh, theories are there in the uh, computer, other papers. So keeping in view of that things, so normal numericals are not there. You see there in the math, 11, 12, there are a lot of mathematics are there. Algebra part is very little. Only the where the statistics part is more. Here in this chapter, you will see in the question itself, everything are given. What are the data? I can say as a computer languages, everything are given x, y, z value, whatever the things, a value, n value, s value. So, what are the I can uh, the formula? Some, some formula is there, there are something. S is equal to A plus A into N, whatever it is. With this formula, you see there are maybe some uh, in the algebra uh, A forms, D, N, everything are available in the question. So if you look in the question thoroughly, so everything will be available. A will be available, that data is there, N will be available. Maybe one data is missing that you have to identify. That is basically the things. In any chapter, any units we see in the formula, there are maybe uh, there are maybe so many variables, so many data are there, A, B, X, Y, Z, whatever it is. So most of the things are in the question paper that inputs are given. So it is your technique. You should know how to take the, how to pick up the uh, inputs from the question itself and the way of putting the formula, that's all. Then after that, some steps, calculation, and you can identify the unknown values, actually. Okay, so, okay, then I can explain more in the, during the uh, steps uh, at the time of solutions. So, if any uh, questions, you tell me, so that I can, uh, before go ahead to your presentation, if any questions specific, Suppose in your mind something, or I can say what you are expecting from me. Dipangshu, Dipangshu, I've seen in the panel, your name is there, Dipangshu. Tell yes, me. Yes, sir. It is uh, what you want actually. It is clear what I mean to say. Sir, I just want to ask you that if you are showing, uh, if you are presenting your screen or not, or just asking you that. I'm not clear actually. What do you mean to say? Your mic Sir, is not clear. Sir, I was asking you that if you are showing your screen, then you don't have to share it. I was asking you that. Screen sharing? Yes, sir. 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 So automatic yes, share mode mein chala yes sir wo pata chal gaya tha to abhi okay. just before in sharing main puch raha aapko kuch specific question agar hai to please yes, uh, aap batao no, sir, koi specific question nahi aisa aisa kuch question nahi hai theek hai any anyway, yes, just try to interacting if in your, your mind then it will be very easy for me na acha rehan rehan akram uh, you can say something if you what do you feel any question in your mind no sir right now i have no any question so okay maybe after the uh, when we go for the solution maybe a lot of question in your mind so in yeah, sure. you can interrupt me yeah you sure definitely state, i will uh, ask you. not here you can interrupt me and i will explain you yeah okay. sure i will Good. ask you sir thank you sure. thank you sir so uh, actually a basic idea is uh, I don't know where you are now because I am uh, telling a lot of things. 
but exactly it is uh, reaching in your mind or not but i basically i want to say really my effort is really uh, you are understanding or not or uh, then i can change the my way of uh, presentation that's why i'm thinking because math is such a subject um you have to practice it that is that is the main thing so okay anyway so i think uh, i can straight away go for uh, sharing more then that is better So okay, I think uh, first I can show you. Here actually I have already discussed a lot of uh, some of the things. So quickly I am just read out. Sequence is an order list of objects, or we can say the events. So what are the events? That is a sequence. Suppose for example. Yeah, annual sports program so there are 100 meter race then after that 200 meter race some relay race so so many that is called some of the events so sequence means first 100 race then after that you have to call for 200 meter race then long jump high jump whatever it is so all these sports activities so there is some sort of uh, order list i mean you have to some sequence is there is it not so that way you can see the event or order list. So that is we can say sequence. Now here number of turns. Number of turns is called the length of a uh, sequence. So suppose for example one sequence is there one two three four five six. So up to uh, fifty. So there are uh, twenty up to twenty. Suppose for example or up to fifty. So that way we can say it is a uh, length, length of the particular sequence. Then coming to the series, a series is the sum of the terms. So only difference is it has some, there is event. So in the case of sequence, just keep in mind it is an event. And in the case of series, you have to consider the sum of terms. How many terms is there in the sequence? So that is come. That means sequence will come first. Then after that, we have to make the series or the series by the uh, what are the sequences so first sequence will come then only you have to able to identify the series some of the series so finite sequences and this uh, and the series have definite first and last terms should be there another uh, this there sequence or series whatever thing there should be a first term and the last term so that should be there so it is all our conditional condition thing. Then infinite sequence and the series continue um, indefinitely. So all these things, um, maybe that during the solution, it may not be required. But as a clear the concept, you should keep in mind. The series is informally the result of adding all those terms together. That is A1 and A2 and A3 all together. The sum of the sum, know the symbol as uh, notification that sum of is uh, capital E, uh, the sigma that is we are considering as a sum of. So now going to here, I can show you something. 
So notation actually normally we are keeping x n. Uh, there are the n terms, and it is it can go up to, and that n should be greater than one. It should not be zero. It should be greater than one. There is some sort of notification. Add the number. Uh, it may be reciprocal, one by two square. These things are there. In any formation, if you divide it by this thing, you see sometimes it is uh, increasing, and particular position then it is decreasing. So add on it doesn't mean always it is increase order it may be a decrease so uh, it is also not very much just only keep in mind like this uh, this is the symbol we are putting the, uh, not the notation is commonly used for series that is sum sum of xn so we call it the series of xn now coming to here ah ap now arithmetic progressions uh, some concept i'm try to give you an arithmetic progression is a sequence where each term is a certain number you carefully i again i am read out certain number you just see here So it should be that certain number should be always condition is larger than the previous number, previous term. It means suppose for example, three, five, seven, nine. Now you see in this case, five is larger than the three. So here that's why written the larger than the previous terms. So this is the way it is going. When this type of series we are observing 3, 5, 9, 7, 9 and some um, so we are calling it the arithmetic progressions where common difference D is 2 common difference D we are com uh, denote as a D is equal to 2 so 5 minus 3 to 7 minus 5 to 9 minus 2, 9 minus 7, 2. So everywhere between the two numbers, we are uh, we are observing the difference is common. So in this case, we can say it is an arithmetic progression. When we are getting this type of things, we can say it is an arithmetic progression. Means in this case, progression means it is progress. It is progress by certain value a certain number in a equal intervals any in equal intervals so that's why the name is arithmetic progression are coming now in term of this sequence is 2n plus 1 suppose particular term you have to identify suppose here is up to 11 suppose here i don't know 18 or 19 terms so that case this is the 2n plus 1 if we do it then we can identify the uh, you can figure out the particular n terms. So now coming to it will be more clear when when I will show the solution also. So for some some theoretical part, you should know the above sequence which has a constant difference between terms. So between the terms, it is all our terms: the first terms, second term, third terms, fourth terms, fifth terms. So, and you see every term. So, first term in this case, A1. We are considering as a A1, the first term, and it means 3. And difference we are denote is a D. And the number of the terms we are calling as a N. So, A, D, N. Why I am explaining all these things? Because when you see the question paper uh, at the time of solution, all these terms are coming. So there, you can say there is our input data. The data will be given in the question paper. You have to only identify the, suppose this is the formula, a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d. So maybe you have to identify the particular terms. Suppose for 10, 10th term you have to identify. 
it is given n is also given b is also given so you have to identify these things now if you add something suppose for particular number you add it so differences as you know so a1 plus d suppose for example this is particular seventh term suppose for example suppose this is a seventh term so if you want to know the eighth terms what will be the eighth terms so definitely you have to add some common differences if we add it then then you will get it the next terms so this is the way um, you have to identify so a1 plus a1 plus d then um, again a1 plus d plus again d so this is the way 2d then 3d a1 plus 2d so so ultimately the next terms so you, you can go on such a way so in the you have to just take a consider the last term plus what are the common differences so this is the way you have to go ahead so ultimately what happened so our sequence is now a1 then a, a1 plus d then a1 plus 2d so on then a, a1 plus 3d so this is the way you can identify the particular figures for example suppose a1 is uh, for example 3 and common difference is 2 so here in this case 3 plus 2 then here is 3 plus 2 plus 2 so this way you have to identify the uh, figure you can the number you can identify so if we continue this process that's why as long as we can then resulting set of numbers is called the arithmetic progressions so arithmetic progression if it is come for definition two marks so please write the definition of ap then you can write these things you can write it it may come in the exam because or within this suppose there are uh, one questions there are two parts first question question number one a define the ap question number b one small example this is three numbers so two plus three five numbers this way can also can come in the exam so you should know the theory also there are three four lines sentences ap and what is the logic behind it how why you are calling the ap that also there for example now it, you take the example also which term of the ap that is 3 8 13 is 78 see here actually if you continue you can manually also you can do it 3 8 13 that means the difference is 5 so you can add after 13 you can add 5 so it will come 18 then again you can add it 5 then you can some you will get something so so on then somewhere 70 with 78 will come but manually you can do it but that is that should be a very lengthy process so for that we have a, some formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d suppose within this formula we can consider it now 78 where so ultimately n we have up to identify so n term which term 78 will be there so in this case a is equal to 3 given and d is 5 so if you put in the formula so it will come uh, 16 so now here you see one first terms second 13 is third so if we add on manually in the 16 terms definitely 78 will come manually you can do it but to reduce the your uh, manual process the simple formula is there if you read this formula then you can get it uh, easily you can get it which terms is falling under 78 so that is the one symbol i hope it is understand here simply a is given you see in the question paper a is given 
plus n, you don't know, n you have to identify terms. Here the difference is d, 5 is there, and 78, it is already given in the question paper. 78, because you have to identify na? 70 78 where, in which location 78 is there. The location is 16. The 16th location will be, um, uh, will get the 78. So automatically within this formula, you will state you can get it. So, okay. Now I have to go for frequencies. This is another question is there. Is minus 150 a term of the series? You see, some it is given. Minus 150, a term of the series. 11, 8, 5, 2, that you have to prove it. The yes, minus 150 is particular, or otherwise you can say no, minus 150 is not within this, this term is not available in this series. So that you have to conclude it. How? Simply, here you see A is 11, because it is some series started from here, it, it is decreasing. You see, it is decreasing, not increasing. D is given, uh, D I can identify, so 8 minus 11 with a minus 3, so it is now in the decreasing order. Let A n is equal to minus 150, because you see in this case, we don't know, we have to identify where it is 150. So therefore, A is equal to, now the formula, A plus n minus 1 into D, is equal to minus 150. We are considering this thing. Let. We are let. Then you have to prove it. Initially, you just take a consideration. You believe it. You trust it. You, okay, let's see. Maybe 150 somewhere. So it is uh, falling under, uh, it is really falling in this these or not that you have to identify. Okay. So simply you put in the formula and you see where. So 53. Uh, it is 2 by 3. This is a position which is not an integral number. So you see it is not an integral number. So terms always should be integral number. It should be unique number. 5, 6, 7, 8, 78, 150 something. So that means um, hence the number of terms can never be a fraction because fraction should not be. So we can say hence minus 150 is not a term of the given series. So whatever the series has given, whatever the series has given, it is not a uh, minus 150, cannot be a uh, term of this particular series. It is true. Suppose as a computer engineer or computer programmer or operator, you are getting a, this type of data, 11, 8, 5. Your boss is saying, to please identify where the terms 150, minus 150 is coming or not or minus 170 is coming or not, let's see. So then that time as a computer operator, as a computer analyst, uh, uh, analysis, you have to take this formula and, and you can say, state, no sir, uh, this is not coming in this fraction because it is a fraction. So this figure, this data is not valid. So okay, delete it. So these are all practical things. It may be, a, you may be require some of the data, it is correct or not, you have to identify particular series. And accordingly, you have to feed in the computer. Okay. So now, hello, to... sir. Yes, yes. Tell me. Hello. Uh, sir, I have a lot of uh, network problem. So, I am joining and I am late. So, there is no problem with attendance. No, no, there is no problem. Now, I am joining and I am late. आप एक बार ज्वाइन कर लो तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं वो रिकॉर्ड हो जाता है सी योर जॉइनिंग विल बी वैलिड सो नो प्रॉब्लम और यू कैन राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स आल्सो चैट बॉक्स पे आप लिख दो ठीक है आप व्हाट एवर यू आर सेइंग राइट नाउ ओके चैट बॉक्स में तो चैट बॉक्स तो मैं कर लेंगे ना वो तो कॉपी कर लेंगे हम लास्ट पे सो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड अह
anyway now coming to geometric progression gp so ap is clear ap uh, theory part is there and some one example also given now coming to ge geometric progressions a geometric progression is a sequence where each term is r in case of the actually in the ap we have seen the d in case it is a r ratio it is r times larger than the previous times so in this case it almost same thing only r is here instead of d so r is known as the common ratio in the case of ap d is a common differences here actually r is the common ratio of the sequence so now n term of a geometric progressions gp was in short we are calling gp where a is the first term r is the co common ratio the two things are there and this is the formula we can i can in the box that is the formula a into r to the power n minus 1 that is the formula a is already the first term r is the ratio oh, r is the ratio and n is the terms which we have to identify and then minus 1 this is the formula so in the ap is different formula and for gp is another formula there are these two formulas you have to remember and your other things are available from the question now example in gp the first term is 1 and the common ratio is 2 is given so now state you you can make the series here itself 1 2 and 4 you see 4 by 2 ratio is 2 then 8 8 by 4 Eight by four again it is two. Then sixteen by eight again it is two. That means common ratio is two is coming from everywhere. The n term is suppose if you identify the n terms that is two to the power n minus one. So this is the formula. Simply these things, nothing else. So here we are getting it here because in this case it is one. So one into common ratio r is two, so we can put a two, and n minus one is already there in the formula. So nothing else. So that's why, in this case particular, suppose for example it is not starting from one, it is now two, then four, then six, then eight. This is the way it is going. So in this case, it will be two into what about the common ratio then it will be changes because it is it is a one so that's why one into two a is one so one into two to the power n minus one so ultimately to the power n minus one okay uh, i'll show you more more solution then it will be more clear and geometric progression gp is formed by multiplying a starting number a1 by a number r called the common ratio which actually here the things are in the written form only nothing else gp hum log kaise nikalenge simply jo starting number hai a1 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 starting number Multiplying the uh, multiplying by r r r means common ratio. The common ratio is two. So we call it this is a common ratio. So GP this is the way we have to form it. Now coming to some example. The GP some example I have given you. Find the tenth terms of a geometric sequence. A one is equal forty five, and the common ratio R is zero point two. You see, as I told you in the earlier, as I said already, in the questions, you see there, what are the small formula, 
out of that there are two things already given a1 given r is given that's all so you have to only identify the n 10 terms you have to identify so formula you know within the formula there are three things so out of three things two things you that data you know you can take it from the question paper and put it here and you will get the result that's all so that is nothing is there only you have to um, remember the formula that's all or other things everything are available in the questions you take it and pick up and put it in a, and multiply it okay so we are simply a145 into r 0. 0. 0.2 multiply it. so what are the things that come okay now coming to hp Actually, students, I'm trying to uh, give you the concept. Uh, series already I have discussed. Then sequence already I have discussed. What is the difference between these? Then AP already I have discussed, uh, giving a theory. Uh, and then after that, one example I have, to, I have to show you. Then GP already definition I have given. And one example also I have given. Now coming to harmonic progressions. Now, harmonic progression that is called a HP. Okay. So, in harmonic progression, series of numbers that are formed by a reciprocal. You see, I have given putting an underline. It is in the form of reciprocals. Reciprocals means, suppose for example, one, two, three, four, whatever it is, then one. I can put a one by one, then one by two, one by four, one by seven, then one by nine. So reciprocal is basically just take a uh, ratio. So then you can convert is a convert is a uh, reciprocals of the arithmetic progressions. So what about the arithmetic progressions? That if we, if we, if we convert is a um, the reciprocal mode, then we can call it as a HP. Now it will be more clear if I show you some example, then it will be more clear. So first find the arithmetic progress. So in the case of arithmetic prog uh, harmonic progressions, first of all you have to identify the arithmetic progressions because it is a part of things and to find the reciprocal of the arithmetic progression. That, that means, suppose in the question paper is coming, find out the harmonic progressions. So what we'll do? We just first do the arithmetic progression uh, based on this. We just do whatever the things, simply we find out the arithmetic progressions. What are the result will come? It just reciprocal it. Then it will be converted automatically, it will be converted in harmonic progressions. So final reciprocals of the arithmetic carries to get the harmonic progressions. Here actually I have written first find the arithmetic progression and then find reciprocal of the arithmetic series to get the harmonic progressions. In general, it is a form like this in the HP is given by 1 by A, 1 by A plus D, 1 by D plus 2D, uh, sorry, A plus 2D, then 1 by A plus N minus 1D are the HP. Now you see the denominator side in the, in the bottom side. If you forget about the 1, what is written? Just simply see the lower portion. It is simply as, a, as good as AP only. Is it not? So whatever the AP, if we put a reciprocal, that's one, one by A, it is now reciprocal forms. A plus G HP, when you are putting one, then it is a form of reciprocal. Again, A plus 2D, when you put a one by then it is a reciprocal. 
here is also so it is a form of reciprocal mode ultimately it is an hp so harmonic progression is nothing simply arithmetic progression same thing and finally after that we just change it as a reciprocal mode this one by simply and you will get the hp so in the general form of ap is as we know the general form of ap an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is a ap formula arithmetic progressions formula so first of all you have to identify a in the first terms as is well ap and then last you can ratio it between the numbers then you will get the i show you one example then it will be more clear so find the fourth and eighth terms of the series and particular series is given 6 4 3 dot 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 and you have to identify fourth terms and eighth terms you don't know where it will be in the form of hp this is uh, uh, forget to return here in the form of hp so anyway so consider 1 by 6 1 by 4 1 by 3 and infinity what are the things are there so now here actually so this is t2 this is t1 so 1 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 and then 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 so in all the cases you see finally it will come 1 by 6 1 by 4 1 by 3 so 1 by 12 is coming everywhere if we ratio it then 1 by 12 is coming okay so it is a, a ap form okay now fourth term of ap this is the formula a plus 4 minus 1 because n is 4 n is 4 so 4 it will be here minus 1 into d d in this case how much 1 by 12 so if we multiply it it will come in a 5 by 12 so fourth terms fourth terms is coming to 5 by 12 similarly 8 terms so simply you can change it uh, in this case 4 minus 1 and in this case 8 minus 1 because 8 minus 1 means 7 so 7 into our uh, ratio is common ratio is same 1 by 12 200 here actually 7 don't confuse because 4 minus 1 actually here it should be written here 8 minus 1 so uh, ultimately it will come 7 so formula is actually n minus 1 in here actually in the time of eight terms so set to eight is multiplied seven by one that seven is coming because of in bracket eight minus one that's why seven is coming so uh, this way actually the concept is clear now uh, ap we have discussed then yours again i'm repeating the series sequence already discussed then series we have discussed then ap already you have discussed and given example then gp as already you have discussed and finally now we have to see more solution then it will be more clear let's come to um Now, uh, actually, today only I have just prepared for you so that simple, simple things. Nowadays, coming from the basic only. So, don't worry. Uh, that uh, very hard question are not coming. So, don't go very deep in these things. Only concept to be clear and small, small formula you have to remember. And I just show you. 
uh, is a question pattern basically. The, this is the question pattern. The nth term of the sequence is three n minus two. Is the sequence is a, a is a, an AP? The question is. What are, this given? You have to prove it. It is AP or not. First of all, you have to see the AP or not. If it is AP, then find the tenth term. The question is like this. So it is given three n minus one. You have to prove it. That sequence is arithmetic progressions means where the constant part will be there, common difference will be there, and that should not be any fraction. Some uh, integral part will be there. If so, then there is a formula a n. We consider a n is equal to three n minus two. What is what about the given same thing? Now, if a one Suppose in place of n, just considering one. So a one, you are trying to identify the first terms. Then here is also one because n is one. So one minus so it is you are coming first term is one. Our target is to identify the tenth terms. First you see one. Is coming now. You put two. You put a in in, in place of one n. You can put a two. So here is also two, and here is also two. So how how much it is coming now? Four. We are getting four. So one four. Then third term a three. Same thing in the place of n. You are putting a three, and now we are getting seven. So one four seven. That's Sequence we are getting one, comma four, comma seven. You see, in this case, it is not given one, four, seven. Not given. First of all, you have to uh, derive these things. Now you confirm. Yes, it is a some common difference is there. How much? Three. Everywhere three. Here is also three. Here is also three. So difference is also as a constant part. So we can say yes. That sequence is ultimately uh, AP arithmetic progressions. As per the formula, as per the theorem, arithmetic progression is always increasing. It should be greater than earlier one, and there should be common differences. Then we can call this a we can call it is a arithmetic progression. So it already shows one four seven is a. At the right problem, so that you have to write it. That's one for seven. A n is a linear expression in n, so the given sequence sequence is an A P with common difference three. I think it is clear now. So that you are already proved. The first question and the question itself it has asked. The n term of sequence is three my three n minus one, three n minus two. Is the sequence an AP? Question mark. ये क्या आपका arithmetic progression है? अगर है proof कर. तो हम लोग proof किया. Now we are just proof. It is already a arithmetic progression. So now we can go ahead. Now putting n is equal to ten. हम लोग Why you are putting the n is equal to ten? Because the next question is, next part of the question is, find its tenth terms. So now we have to find out the tenth terms. You have to find out. So simply, I am putting the in the place of a n. In place of n, we are putting ten because we have to identify the tenth position. Is equal to same uh, sequence because. Sequence has given already, no? Same sequence, t n minus two. It is given in the question. So it is given t n t n into two minus uh, minus two. It is given. So simply three into ten minus two. How much it is coming? Let's see. Twenty. So twenty uh, is your answer. That means twenty is the Tenth position and tenth terms of particular sequence. So second part is also the so first part is proved. It is AP. Second part is 
now 28. So this way, this example, um, it is over. Now it is, I think, clear. So in this question, there are two parts. Again, I'm telling you, we have to first prove it is AP. And second part is 10 terms, you have to identify it. 10 terms is coming, you have 28. So now, then we can go for second example. Then it will be more clear. The n terms of a sequence is given by 2n plus 7. Same thing, you see, earlier we have seen how much it was there? 3n minus 2. Here actually given 2n plus 7, that's all. Again, show that it is an AP. First of all, you have to see it is AP or not. And also find the 7 terms. Earlier it was 10 terms, now it is 7 terms. Suppose in the exam, if you change it, suppose, suppose I am the examiner, I am setting the question paper. I can change 3n plus 7, that's all, I can change it. So, you have, you have to clear the concept, what we are doing, carefully you have just observed it. Simply, an is equal to 2n plus 7, we have to consider it. <coughs> then, n plus 1, to n plus 1 plus 7, we are just increasing and see how much it is coming, 2n plus 9. So, 2n plus 7, now in this case, it's 2 plus 9. Then you see here, add on the things, there are so many ways to prove it, no problem, it is another way of we are proving. So, a n plus 1 minus a n, so next order actually next terms we are identifying so 2n plus 9 is already there minus this part is already here 2n plus 7 so 2n plus 7 is already there actually what i did suppose it's, this is total particular one term i don't know it may be a um uh, it may be five it may be a, a total seven i don't know because because of the n uh, we cannot state where you can identify it. But it is a particular one terms, is it not? It may be a fourth position, it may be a seventh position, we don't know. So if we calculate it, and if we add on next uh, terms, so, and finally you can minus from these terms, earlier one, so this is one term, and it is previous terms. So definitely another term will come, so let's see the differences. So ultimately common difference is coming two. So as soon as we get the two, so it is very easy for identifying the sequence. So in this sequence, when you are getting the particular two, figure is two, not fractions, not decimals. So we can say it is AP. That is this sequence is correct. This sequence, sequence we can say it is a arithmetic progression because a two already it is add on by two, two everywhere two will be there. It's a common difference. So, and then now we have to put the seven because the seventh position you have to identify. Okay. Then simply A7 is equal to two into seven plus seven. So it is coming 21. So A7 position terms because the term seven term is 21. So, okay, I then I go for another example. So, which term of the sequence 72, then 70, then 68, 66 is 40. So, 40, where it is there? Definitely it should be before. So, you have to identify where, which term is 40. I think similar type of uh, example I have shown you already. So this is your formula. First of all, you see here, A is given, 72, first term is given. And common difference, you can identify from here, 72, then 70, then 68. So definitely 2 is the uh, common difference. But in this case, you see, it is a 
decreasing. So 72, then 70, then 68. So it should be a minus 2. You have to be careful about it. When it is in decreasing, so definitely your common difference is also decreasing. I mean, minus sign will be there, negative. And then you can put it in the formula. Uh, you have to identify the 40 because the 40 um, figure will come where? Which terms? That is the idea. So after this calculation, if we put in the formula, it will come in the n is coming 70. So in the 17th position and the 17th terms, that 40 will be, 40 will be there. Now it is calculated. So now in the conclusion, you have to write. Hence, 17th term of the given sequence is 40. Okay. Now coming to last year question paper. It is December. 2021 latest question coming in this uh, just two three months back that paper has come if seven times the seven term of an ap is equal to 11 times it's 11 times so that the 18 terms of the ap is zero here you see the, within the questions all the inputs are given you can say the inputs what about the data everything so you have to read the question carefully and put it in the formula that's all see in this case times seven times not terms and seven terms times and terms okay don't confuse there is a seven times seven terms and in this case also equal to 11 times and 11 terms so don't confuse and is 11 so times and times so this is another formula and if you see the combination formula seven times of seven terms so a7 is the terms as we know a1 a2 a3 what about it is these all are terms and it is seven times seven times mean into seven so seven a7 and here the another question 11 times in 11 times so 11 into 11 or equal this is the, the text that's given in the question paper it is saying again now coming to the question seven times of seven are terms that means in this case seven into a7 so in this case seven seven terms we can consider is a a7 we can Take it as a a7 and this a7 is seven times means into seven and here actually that second part is 11 times of 11 times so that's why 11 that is a11 is the terms and this is 11 times equal so that means it is equal that the condition is given so if it is there then you identify the 18 times so 7 a7 7 a7 or i can say read out this way 7 times of a term a7 term is equal to 11 times of 11 terms exactly what is written it is formatted is is equal to is equal to that condition is given in the question paper <coughs> if you are not understanding the question then you cannot find out this relationship that is the relation you can uh, develop from here itself. Then after that, it is very easy. Now, 7 is okay in the house. Here actually A7 terms, we can write in this way, A plus 6D, because A7 is coming by the formula N minus 1. So A plus, A plus N minus 1, we know. So 7 minus 1, that means 6 is coming. It is not, it is the formula. Here is also A plus N minus 1 means 11 minus 1. Again, it is coming 10. So D. So again, we are putting it a formula. Because terms, identify the terms, that we have some formula. Na? A N is equal to N minus 1 into D. 
in that formula we can put it actually we have we have to write it some in the bracket where which formula is is applying so i am just telling you what the formula that is an is equal to uh, n plus uh, sorry a plus n minus 1 into d okay same formula we have to put it here then after that you calculate it just i'll find how much it is coming let's see it is coming 60 AD and then finally uh, yeah now here uh, question is see again I am going to the question carefully so that the 18 terms of the AP is 0 then you have to see that finally in 18 terms it is 0 or not when when it is 18 terms is 0 that means it is true you see in this case uh, finally after the calculation that a plus 17 d is coming so in this case you see this is the formation of a 18 because a 18 is equal to a plus n minus 1 so n minus 1 means 18 minus 1 so 17 d so 17 d so you can say this a plus 17 d is equal to a 18 because this formation are coming from a 18 how a 18 is equal to i can write it a n so a 18 is equal to a in bracket 18 minus 1 into d so a plus 17 d now it is in this already in this case it is now falling 0 so already we can declare it therefore a 18 is equal to 0 so it is also proved i hope it is understand now because within the questions everything are given you have to prove it Now I can show you another example. Uh, the fourth terms of the AP. Fourth terms of the AP have to equal is three times again three times of first term, and the seventh terms exceed twice the third term by one. Find the first terms and the common differences. When you go through this, my these slides and all these things, it will be more clear. Now we just try to just understand what the going on things. Based on this question, A4, the fourth terms, mean A4 is equal to three times of first terms. Three times of first terms. So this is the first terms, A1, three is coming in the air. But in this case, there's a no term, no times. Three times is given, but in this in this case, no times. Simply fourth terms equal it is equal. So that condition has fulfilled. A four is equal to three a one. So simply you can add on these things. You can a four you can change it a plus three d because there is a formula here. You need not to do anything. It is only first terms. So three d is equal to two a. You can put a one equation. Now, find the first terms and the common differences. Another condition is seven terms exceeds twice the third terms. Another condition C for another equation seven terms, A7 minus 2A3 because twice the third terms exceeds when it is already exceeds means negative minus is equal to one is given the condition is given because as a computer programmer as a computer analysis this type of data is coming and that time as a analysis you have to identify the things the data you can collect from here only you have to put up and put up in the formula formula is given but you have to understand the things 
seven terms exceeds twice the third terms. So you can manipulate the manipulate me actually it is a formation. So is it, a, it is in the written forms that written forms you are putting in a format that is in the formula format. Then only you can you can computer computer only knows that these things computer don't know the language. So yeah, as an analyst, as a computer analyst, your duty is to uh, what are the written form, written data you have to put in in the in the program. I mean in the that uh, formula you have to put it. Then only you can get the result. So you have to know all these terms. Then finally you see now you solve. There are two equations. So you can identify the a value. You can put it here. Then a or d you can identify the values. After that simple algebra is there, nothing else. Just you putting, you identify the one value, and then you can put it in the other value in the other equation. So you can a and d is required. So you can identify. So you can write. Hence, a is equal to three, and d is equal to two. So that these two things you can, uh, we are solving by these two equations, and how that two equations we are. Preparing from the question only. Now another uh, example I can show you that is the uh, now uh, on finding the sum of given number of terms of AP. The formula is sum S U M sum. That formula is S N is equal to S stands for sum. N by two in second bracket two a plus n minus one into d, or in general n by two a plus l first uh, terms and the last terms. It is not a one. It is a l l last terms last terms. This is a one. In this case, it is l last terms. So there is a one formula based on this formula also you can identify. Otherwise, that is the general formula for Identifying the sum. Find the sum of example. Now find the sum of twenty terms of the AP. Now one AP is given. One, four, seven, ten. You have to identify the sum considering up to twenty terms because it can go go on go on so many things. But you have to select up to twenty terms and you tell how much. What is the sum of this? Up to twenty times. So first, uh, here you see uh, the a, the first terms. D is the common differences. How much it is a two. So here a is equal to one, a is one, and d is three. And then straight away I can put in the formula. So S N is equal to n by two. It is the formula. So we get. 20 because it is given 20 20 times so n is 20 divided by 2 and 2 into 1 a is 1 already n again 20 minus 1 and d actually is given 3 so all the things are complete now in the in this in the formula all the data you have so simply calculation it is coming 590 so 590 means uh, what does it mean well, 590 is basically Uh, just try to understand 530 590 means find the sum total up to 20 times because 10 then it may it will be uh, at 13 then 16 so this way up to 20 times you can if you add it 1 plus 4 plus you add it totally then you will get it manually you can you can calculate it it will come 590 But within the, uh, just by the help of this formula, straight away you can get it five nine, and you can uh, figure it out through this computer also these things. So this is one of the formula how to um, prepare the sum. Another formula, another example is there. Find the sum of the series. It is a series is given. Uh, you have to. Uh, The sum. There is no terms. Twenty terms, nineteen terms. No series is given. Total series is given. You have to identify the sum. 
So in this case, you see a n in this case a n last term is given 181 that means 5 to 181 you have to add it and how much it is coming you have to add it manually you can do it 15 13 21 then you calculate it it is very lengthy process you can do it by calculator but it is very lengthy process you can check it out then how much it is coming you see the same thing is coming so anyhow here actually it is very easy formula Simply 181, then a plus n minus 1 into d. If you put in this formula, straight away you can commit. So, if you put this formula, ultimately you will get it 21339. So, 2139, if you add it. If you add all this, you can sum up, so this thing will come. But by the help of this formula, you can very easily get it. Okay, I think, I hope uh, it is clear now. Okay, this is also coming the last time. This is also a, another question, December 21. Last time it has come. Find the tenth terms of the harmonic progression HP. Now find the tenth terms of the harmonic progressions. One by seven, one by fifteen, one by twenty-three, one by thirty-one. So all are in reciprocal mode. All are in reciprocals. Okay, HP. The question uh, just see HP harmonic progressions. So given that HP series, so 1 by 7, 1 by 15, 1 by, these are all our HP series given. So that AP, actually as I know, as I told you that HP, nothing else, you have to do it AP and then you reverse it. So so that in the, if you consider the AP, in the bottom one, you see 7, you take it 7, 15, 23, 31. So it is all are in AP. It's simply in this a, a is the seven, and difference is d is eight. Now simply you put it this formula: a n is equal to a plus n minus one to d, as we know. And now the tenth terms. So ten. So in this case, a is seven. D uh, uh, n is also ten minus one. And D is 8. So ultimately it will come how much? Let's see. 79. Now by the AP series, we are getting 79. But 79 is not the result of HP. Because you have to uh, calculate it by HP only. So 79 it is in the AP form only. By AP only. But so what we will do? We have to reciprocal so that tenth terms of the HP HP. Now I change it, not AP HP is one by seventy-nine. So you have to calculate by the help of AP and finally you just reverse it, even reciprocal it. And that is the answer. If you you if you in the exam 79, if you do 79, so will not get the uh, full marks. Maybe some uh, change, uh, some uh, two or three marks will give, not complete five marks. But if you do last one, one by 79, then you will get a full marks, five, because ultimately you are getting in a HP form. So HP is nothing, simply you do it the AP, and in the last you just convert it, just one by, that's all. Suppose in this case you are coming as 81. So 1 by 81 is the HP. Okay. I hope uh, it is clear now. Then. Any, any, uh, any doubt so far? Because. No, sir. 
please respond anybody do you understand or not what i am saying understand sir Paras, Vajay, those who are in the line, tell me any doubt. It is clear or not? Okay, let's see. There are so many examples are there. Can show another one. So let's see. Oh, sorry. Not this. One. This is already over. That is also same thing. Another example is there. Same formula you have to. Uh, catch point is when you are see the question paper, what is written? In the uh, sum, just you have to identify this is a SUM sum. Okay, then this formula is should be in your mind. If sum is not there, then definitely other formula is there. Ah, okay. If it is sum, then simply you can identify where, where is the A. And D is there only. A is also given. D is also given by 22 is given. D is also minus 4. The minus 4 given. Total 64 is given. ASN is also given. So what if to identify N? Find N. So within this formula, you see, if you are a, uh, I mean, little bit idea of this AP, so if you um, remember this formula only, that's all. Within this formula, you see n is required, sn is required, a is required, and your d is required. Yes, that's all. So if everything are given, so something is not given, you can easily identify. Suppose, for example, this is a, a is not given. Suppose, for example, other everything is given, so you can identify the a. n is, it is fine n. And given A is already given, D is given, SN is given, already given in the question paper. So simple. Okay. So that way you can do it. No problem. Finally, you see what you have to practice. That's all. Finally, so SN is your 64 confirmed. Find the GP is another formula. Find the sum again sum, but in the GP form. So in this case, first GP A is given, A R C is given, because the fourth terms. So in this case, fourth terms, maybe you have many questions. Why it is three? Because R is equal to n minus one. So R. R a into r to the power n minus 1. So n minus 1 means if we fourth terms, so n 4 minus 1, so ultimately 3. So a r 3 is equal to 4 divided by 4 9 is given. So this is the thing. Otherwise, you can write a r to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to these things. Then in the second step, you can write a r q these things. So don't confuse in this, the written is 4, but here is 3. It means it has come n minus 1. That's why it is 3 is coming. After that, nothing else, simply the formula. And this is the formula of sum of uh, GP. In the GP formula is sum, the catch point sum, GP. And this is the formula. S is equal to A by 1 minus R. So you have to be careful about this thing. In the questions, the trick point is sum is written and it is GP. So formula is this one. So you have to remember this formula in the case of GP. And in the case of AP, 
This is the formula. This is the formula. Sn is equal to n by 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus. This is the formula for in the case of AP. So in the question paper, you have to be very careful. First, you have to see it is AP or GP. Sum is written and not. Then straight away you can identify. Once you know the formula, then other things will automatically come up. So you don't worry about the figures. The same thing it is available and you can put it and finally you can get the marks. So uh, I'm trying to give you the some technical, that's all. Harmonic programs, reciprocals, one by seven, 15 by eight, same thing. You have to identify things, which I think already I've shown. And finally, 79, that is a one by 79. Yes, that already I've shown. And the GP, again, the same form, same thing. Here, actually, you see, this is the correct way. Fifth term, fifth. So, 5 minus 1. So, ultimately, A, R4, 1. And common ratio is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 common ratio is given. First, what are the questions? What are the data you have? You can write one by one. Find the 18 terms and fifth terms the ratio. Find the 18 terms whose fifth terms. So ratio is there 18, eight, 18 terms and 5 terms. It is coming. How much it is coming? 13. 17, 4. So ultimately it is R13. So when getting the differences, then finally. You can say therefore a18 is the these things again you see the sum of sum as gp and that is where you have to calculate there's so many Everything are the same thing. Actually, I have so many solutions uh, based on the uh, your exam uh, question paper. And finally, nothing is coming from outside. Everything are coming. And you see, uh, surprisingly, this question in the month of January, before exam, I already discussed the previous batches and online. The same question is coming in the exam only, same questions. Same question has come. And so same thing. Anyway, so I think uh, already I have discussed a lot of things. There are so many other examples also there. So you have to same thing a repetition basically. So here I can um, close it. And now I coming to stop presenting, stop sharing. Eh? Okay, stop sharing. Okay, tell me any doubt <clears throat> so far? Do you understand or not what I say? Or which are the portions I can repeat once again? Tell me. So in the recap, I just uh, given you just uh, overview again. So in this chapter, we have discussed the uh, uh, sequence. What is the sequence? OK, John, thank you. I think John is saying it is understand. OK, I just recap once again. Uh, three sequence we have discussed, then series also we have discussed, what is the difference between your sequence and series, That's basically sequence is the event, is a book list, order list, whatever it is, and then series is basically the sum up, sum up, sum up of your sequence, these things, if anybody asks what is the difference between the and then after that, we have discussed about the AP, arithmetic progressions, 
how do you know that it is the arithmetic progressions because there is a common difference is there and it is a constant value no fractions and it is a very linear fractions so we can declare it is a ap form for example 1 4 7 9 so that differences are common so we can say it is a ap form then how what are the, we have calculated from the ap we can identify the terms which terms that is another formula and in the ap the question may come the sum sum of the series sum of the sequences then it will be different formula there are two formulas are ap similarly in the gp gp is a geometric form and only difference is the common ratio not common differences r denoted by the common ratio so the uh, based on this the, again the gp there are two things one you make you have to calculate some of the uh, sequence particular terms and sum of the gp and then third is hp harmonic progressions actually in hp there is no formula is it harmonic progression there is no formula it is had by ap simply you have to do it as per the ap arithmetic progression you take the lower portions and calculate it and in the end you just reciprocate it you just change it one by something then it will be converted as a hp so hp is very easy as you know the ap and um, that's all and uh, i think around uh, 10 to 15 almost small small solution i already shown you and i hope if you practice yourself at least two two questions sufficient mind it again i am telling you from this chapter two question will come so 10 marks is there so okay so tomorrow we'll uh, discuss about the complex number that the second unit of uh, block 2 so almost uh, there are total uh, four blocks so after tomorrow class almost 50% syllabus will be covered on so every block is a four, uh, four four units so so far five units we have covered so after the um, block 2 then it will be 50% almost over so now we have to i don't know how much you have practiced it uh if you feel any doubt or something you can tell me uh, we can discuss and uh, i know maybe you don't have a time to practice it but in the weekend you can practice it and saturday sunday you do it and if you any doubts in the monday class we can discuss so don't waste the time because after that you see when the online class will complete in the 15th or 20th and my class is complete in 20th may then after that i may not be available to this like this and one hour two hour will not be available so you, you, uh, you do it here right now within this period what are the doubts you clear okay so during the class during the session if uh, if you clearing the your doubts that will be more important then otherwise okay i am available in the whatsapp or in the mail also no problem but it uh, doesn't mean i can give a full time is it not because there is a good platform online there is a chance you can ask anything i can discuss i can repeat no problem is it not so okay. exam kaise honge exam no uh, i think uh, you see that's why actually in my mind i also don't know the first time it may be online it may be a uh, theory paper so what about it that's why many is bar change here parane ka technique bhi change kiya so that's why i'm give me more and more concept theories theorem to charcha kar raha hu because if agar online mein bhi ho jaye so that you should not feel any problem because online question bhi main bana raha hu saath saath 
अगर क्या पता आप लोगों ऑनलाइन अगर हो तो दिक्कत ना हो एटलीस्ट मेरे साथ जितने आप लोगों को कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो बिकॉज मैंने कुछ ऑनलाइन अपने ऑलरेडी मैंने मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन देखा है अभी भी और भी है मेरे पास अब मेरे जैसे सिलेबस थोड़ा फिफ्टी परसेंट कम्प्लीट हो जाएंगे हाफ एन आवर आई विल टेक एम एम सी क्यू एक मॉक टेस्ट भी हम लेंगे सो देट पैरलि आप लोगों को तैयार कराएंगे आप लोगों ऑनलाइन एग्जाम अगर हो मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन तब भी आप लोग सक्सेस हो जाएंगे थ्योरी पेपर अगर हो तीन घंटा एग्जाम देना पड़े तब भी आप लोग कर पाए सो so, कोई दिक्कत नहीं तो आई एम जस्ट प्रिपेयरिंग बहुत वे अब देखे होंगे मेरा क्लासेस में मैं मोस्टली कॉन्सेप्ट को क्लियर कराना चाह रहा हूँ क्योंकि एम सी को क्वेश्चन आएगा थ्योरी और कॉन्सेप्ट में आएगा लंबे लंबे तो क्वेश्चन तो मैथ में तो नहीं कर सकते ना एन अदर सब्जेक्ट इट्स वेरी इजी टू मेक द एम सी क्यूज बट मैथमेटिक्स के लिए बड़ी दिक्कत है ऑनली स्मॉल स्मॉल फार्मूला हो सकता है दो तीन फार्मूला हम दे देंगे हुआ नहीं से करें फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम ए पी सम के लिए फॉर्मूला एस एन इजल टू एन बाई टू इन ब्राकेट ए प्लस एन माइनस हम एन माइनस का जगह एन प्लस कर देंगे डी का जगह हम और कुछ डाल देंगे तो गड़बड़ कर देंगे हम फार्मूला आपको करेक्ट करना है यही तो है कुछ नहीं सो यू डोंट वरी चाहे ऑनलाइन में एग्जाम हो चाहे थ्योरिकल हो आप दोनों के लिए तैयारी रहिए प्रिपेयर फॉर दी बोर्ड आप लोगों को कहा क्या कुछ बोला गया क्या वट टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम होगा कुछ नो no, सर अच्छा तो आई थिंक देख लीजिए कुछ ना कुछ तो आप लोगों को बता दिया जाएगा जो भी होगा अगर इस तरह का है तो आप लोग मेल डाल दो आप लिखो इग्नू में लिखो आप जो एग्जाम का पैटर्न क्या होगा हम लोग जानना चाहते हैं आप लिख सकते हैं उसमें कुछ ना कुछ तो जवाब तो आएगा नहीं नहीं आप लोग खुद कंफर्म कर लो चीज को एग्जाम तो आप लोगों को देना है है ना हम तो एज ए टीचर हम तो दोनों की दोनों साइड के आप लोग तैयारी करा रहे हो मैं तो आपको बता रहा हूँ ना जैसे आप लोग ऐसा ना लगे सर ने खाली कुछ सोल्यूशन दिखा दिए हैं समझाया नहीं है हम तो समझ भी नहीं पा रहे इसको क्या आंसर दो तो इसलिए मैं सारी तैयारी करा रहा हूँ और जो जो मैंने कंसेप्ट आप लोग बता रहे हैं वही आपके एम होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट उसी में एग्जाम कब होंगे एग्जाम नॉर्मली सेमेस्टर तो छः महीने का होता है तो छः महीना के अंदर में ही कभी ना कभी डिक्लेयर होगा एग्जाम अभी तो इतना दिन तो कोविड की वजह से थोड़ा लेट हो अभी तो थोड़ा नॉर्मल है ऑलमोस्ट भगवान करे सब ठीक है तो वो टाइमली होगा एग्जाम ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है ना क्योंकि नेक्स्ट बैच भी आ जाएगा तो ज़्यादा लेट नहीं हार्डली फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी डेज को इधर उधर होगा एग्जाम तो होगा आप तो मेन चीज आई कैन ऑल्सो आई कैन रिक्वेस्ट ऑलरेडी सो डोंट ऑरी अबाउट द फ्यूचर्स फ्यूचर मीन्स You just focus on the class. Right now, this is the opportunity to learn. You are learning. Me, jada dhyan do. The exam to aaj nahi to kal to ho hi jayega. Kitna late karega? One year, two year, three year, four year. Jada jada few ten days, twenty days. Why one month? Kitne to late hoga na exam ka? Kya usme usne chinta kyu karoge? Jo cheez tumare hath mein nahi hai, wo cheez not your control. To university ka jimedari hai. और कोई भी यूनिवर्सिटी चाहेगा स्टूडेंट लोगों को लेट करा दे कोई चाहता है क्या नहीं चाहेगा ना मजबूरी होगा तो पंद्रह दिन एक महीना इधर उधर हो सकता है बट उन लोगों की तो जिम्मेदारी है ना जल्दी जल्दी खत्म कराना है दूसरा बैच आएगा भाई तीसरा बैच आएगा है ना तो उसके लिए छोड़ दो अपना काम करो अपना काम क्या अपने फोकस रखो पढ़ाई में दिस इज द टाइम यू हैव टू स्टडी मोर कैसे अच्छा नंबर मिला जाए हाउ टू गेट द मोर स्कोर कंसेप्ट कैसे क्लियर किया जाए आफ्टर तीन साल के बाद जब निकले निकलेंगे हम इग्नू से वाई एम सी करके कंपनी में जाके क्या आंसर देना है इंटरव्यू का टाइम में हम कैसे अच्छा पैकेज मिल जाए वो सब सोचो सीखो लर्न करो एग्जाम के लिए टेंशन मत लो क्या होगा अभी मैं बार बार बोल रहा हूँ ना ज्यादा से ज्यादा थोड़ी लेट हो जाए क्या फर्क पड़ेगा असाइनमेंट के लिए परेशान हो जाते हैं स्टूडेंट्स एग्जाम के लिए परेशान हो जाते हैं क्यों इतने परेशान क्यों होंगे वो तो जिसको परेशानी होना है उन लोगों को होने दो ना है ना डिक्लेयर तो होगा ही कभी ना कभी जैसे ऑनलाइन क्लासेस चल रहा है 
चल तो रहा ना ऑलरेडी क्लास तो हुआ है काफी सारे हुआ आप लोगों को फायदा तो हो रहा है ना तो आप एग्री करेंगे जो ऑनलाइन क्लासेस से कुछ ना कुछ तो लोग सीख रहे हैं ना है ना अगर ऑनलाइन क्लास नहीं होता तो क्या करें है ना तो लास्ट दो, दो साल डेढ़ साल पहले की हालत आप देखो क्या हुआ था स्टूडेंट लोग अभी तो आप लोग बेटर कंडीशन में है उस तो उस तो क्लास हो रहे हैं ऑनलाइन में है ना सो so, हमेशा पॉजिटिव सोचना है प्रोग्रेसिव माइंड रखो तो डेफिनेटली सब कुछ ठीक ही होगा अच्छा होगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं अब अपना फ्यूचर के बारे में ज्यादा ध्यान दो तो नेक्स्ट ईयर क्या और इससे ज्यादा मेहनत करना पड़ेंगे और अभी यहीं से जा जो सीखना है सीख लो डेली रूटीन करके पढ़ाई करो एवरी डे एटलीस्ट वन आवर टू आवर आपको स्टडी रखना ही है और पैरली सारे सब्जेक्ट को इम्पोर्टेंस देना है नहीं तो पीछे रह जाओगे सिलेबस खत्म नहीं होगा है ना और ये कोई आर्ट सब्जेक्ट तो नहीं है ना अनदर थिंग आई वांट टू से इट इज नॉट ए आर्ट सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री है चलो कुछ लिख के आ गए कुछ नंबर हो गया बाद में भूल गया एग्जाम के बाद खत्म करो पास हो गया ग्रेजुएशन हो गया चलो बैंक में जाके पैसा गिनते रहो कुछ तक अब नहीं ये आर यू आर टोटली प्रोफेशनल ग्रेजुएशन ये प्रोफेशनल लाइन है कंप्यूटर आपको आगे चल के काम करना पड़ेगा कोई आपको हाथ नहीं बटाएगा आपको पैकेज मिलेगा अच्छा पैकेज जो पचास हजार साठ हजार एक लाख का पैकेज मिलेगा आपको कोई साथी भी आपको हेल्प नहीं आपके आप लोग कंधे में सब कुछ जिम्मेदारी लेके काम करने पड़ेंगे सारी थ्योरीज सारी मैथ सारी कंप्यूटर के टेक्नोलॉजीज उस टाइम आपको सब काम आएगा तभी तो अच्छा पैसा सैलरी मिलेगा ना अच्छा पोजिशन मिलेगा ना ये पूरी हिस्ट्री जियोग्राफी पढ़ रहे हैं आप जो बस किसी तरह पास हो गया खत्म नौकरी मिल गया करते रहो वो कैरानीगिरी जैसे बोलते ना कैरानीगिरी वो तो नहीं है अब तो इंजीनियर धीरे धीरे आप इंजीनियर रैंक पे चला जाएंगे ना सो so, इसको हल्के से मत लीजिए अब लोग सब जो है ना दस साल के बाद आप मेरे बात को यकीन करोगे उस टाइम में रह ना रहे हैं सर अब दस, दस साल के बाद आप याद करोगे जो आज का जो मैं वो बात कर रहा हूँ अब तो कौन सा पोजिशन में आप चले जाओगे तब लगेगा अरे मैं उस टाइम और ज्यादा से अच्छा से सीख लेता तो अच्छा रहता टाइम तो गवा दिया है ना सो बेटर टाइम टू लर्न हाँ दीपांकर दिवाकर बोलो आ, सर मैं बोल रहा हूँ बी और बी टेक सी में क्या डिफरेंस है थोड़ी बहुत सिलेबस ज्यादा है उन लोगों को बीटेक फोर इयर्स का है आप लोगों को थ्री इयर्स का है एक साल ज्यादा पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं उन लोग प्रैक्टिकल ज्यादा है उन लोगों को थ्योरी ज्यादा है मोर टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्नोलॉजी ओरिएंटेड आप लोगों ऑपरेशन ओरिएंटेड बी सी इज बेसिकली ऑपरेशन ओरिएंटेड आप लोगों ऑपरेशन ज्यादा है आप बेटे के में टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग ज्यादा है दे नो द मोर मोर थ्यूरी उन लोगों को ज्यादा है दैट इज द डिफरेंस कुछ तो है डिफरेंस तो कहीं ना क्योंकि आप थ्री इयर्स कोर्स है वो फोर इयर्स का कोर्स है फर्क तो रहेगा ही सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन मे आई आस्क यस योर व्हाई नॉट टेल मी अह सो सो सर एक्चुअली अह इन इंडक्शन ऑन इंडक्शन मीटिंग आवर टीचर टोल्ड अस दैट वी हैव टू टू मेनी पीपल एनरोल्ड इन बीसीए ओएल बट नाउ इट इज वी आर सीइंग दैट वेरी लेस पीपल आर अटेंडिंग क्लासेस सो देयर सर एक्चुअली आई आल्सो यू नो आई आल्सो गॉट एन इशू because mm-hmm. of that i was unable to get the classes even i mailed the ignu federation uh, mm-hmm. but i didn't got any reply they you know uh, they sent me reply i think day before yesterday that our mm-hmm. online classes are going on but there was no one to tell me that our classes are going on so i'm um, uh, earlier i was unable to attend the classes because i was not aware of the things but mm-hmm. uh, sir there are lots of people who are not aware of it so how can they you know Uh, how can they be able able to you know contact uh, any other person as well or contact the teacher and they are answer if, if we talk about the mail they are replying very late even i got um, a reply after 20 days okay harish actually uh, i i got it understand your problem you see yes sir as a teacher i can only motivate you okay and as yes, I, as as far as my concern i know last 18 years i am giving the service of ignu mba and bca okay so what i observe during the induction program and the first semester lot of students are coming is excitement or whatever it is then then after slowly 
it is reducing why it doesn't mean because as you as you know it is an online or distance learning course so the student oriented courses students can remotely can do it means 70% are student oriented and i mean student centric courses that's why a lot of facilities are there study materials are there tv tv program is there fm program is there lot of uh, study materials and your youtube videos are already uploaded so you have to take all these mode of educations because it is not a regular courses you can every day go to the college and can learn something you will interact with the teachers you also don't have a time because most of the students are in service and it is a very popular in other country also very popular it is very increased students are not attending the classes students are not but still students are learning how they are not learning mode is there so if you only yes, depend, if you are you know, only depend on the online class then i'm sorry then you cannot learn more you have to self study is main important worldwide if these good students are from the self study mode on even in the um, i am in the engineering college you see students are giving a bunk they are not getting the class teacher has something that in the end the day before exam they are studying day and night whole night they are studying and getting full marks so it is a do student capacity if you have a good students then a lot of ways you can understand all these things not necessarily you have to attend the online class only is it not moreover i can say study material is available video is also maybe uh, they will be uploading shortly so you can the later on you also you can study also suppose you are miss the particular class you have a touch with the other friends just kya hua tha padhai thoda bata do you can take the my actually normally i am also giving the materials slowly i am uploading so we express my math class no problem study materials can already uh, available is there i am also um, uh, uploading slowly i am giving all these materials so you can go through this if you feel any doubt you interact with the teachers so if you are really good learner there are a lot of ways that there is study nobody can stop you if you really want to study nobody can stop you there are so many ways i i believe these things so yes sir only don't uh, don't depend on the online classes so that's why most of the students those who are not attending it doesn't mean they don't know no they know everything they know but they are thinking okay that materials we can get it no problem uh, better i can do in other things jobs or maybe the some software skills other lot of students are doing parallelly some of the software course also dual uh, study they are doing other than other university they are also doing so lot of things it doesn't mean they are simply sitting no nowadays all the students everybody all are intelligent they know how to manage everything that's why i i, I when i see the exam paper and uh, question paper or uh, exam sheet i am surprised some of the students they don't don't attend the class even though their writing is very good how they are right definitely they have studied somewhere like through the youtube through the study material or maybe somewhere they definitely they have studied in like the in the exam halls i have seen the student at the when they writing the three hours they are writing without any uh, seeing to any things i am surprised 20 pages 25 pages they are doing so uh, i what i mean to say um, self study mode self study is the best study i can say and nowadays you see uh, google is there if you are not getting anything simply type the google google will give google is the best teacher anything any information you will get it from the google is it not sometimes also i also stack up somewhere and i can also go through google only google to teacher with guru hai google ke andar mein aap kahi bhi bar se kisi bhi jagah mein aajkal to you are in now the this generation 21st century students in within a minute you can get it everything pure pure world aapka haathon mein hai ek mobile ke andar mein pure world hai aapka haathon mein jo chaho aap jo cheez seekhna chaho uske andar mein sab chhupa hua hai aapko aapko koi is it not so as a teacher yeah. i can only motivate you 
आई नो देर आर सम सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम आर देयर आई एग्री एंड धीरे धीरे हो जाएगा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं सर सॉरी फॉर इंटरप्टिंग यू सर बट सर एक्चुअली ऑन इंडक्शन मीटिंग आर टीचर्स टोल्ड अस दैट देयर विल योर अटेंडेंस विल बी मार्क्ड बट सर आई एम नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द थिंग दैट हाउ कैन दे विल मार्क आवर अटेंडेंस यू नो व्हेन यू आर जॉइनिंग ना ऑटोमेटिकली इट इट विल थ्रू दिस गूगल टेक्निक गूगल मीटिंग योर अटेंडेंस इज ऑटोमेटिकली रिकॉर्डेड सो डोंट वरी एक्जेक्टली व्हेन यू आर जॉइनिंग द मीटिंग ऑटोमेटिकली अटेंडेंस इज देयर Or otherwise yes, you can you, you can also write in the chat box no problem I am also taking take care na so you yes, write sir. in the check check box uh, chat box and also I can so parallelly in the chat box uh, details and the uh, Google attendance record so both is this can yes sir. thank you more over attendance is not a very uh, crucial things if there is some absent is there doesn't mean it it, it means uh, you you will not be allowed for the exam no. Definitely will be allowed okay. for the exam, so don't worry. Okay. Study, you just okay. learn yourself. That is the main thing. Main motto is you should learn something. Actually, sir, when I joined uh, Egnu, uh, I think in January uh, See, we got uh, the mail I, that. Okay, actually, just uh, I think almost class is over now. I can stop the video mode. Then after that, uh, we can discuss some few times. because most of the things we have discussed so i can now stop the record uh, then we can now because the timing is na otherwise this record will be stop the record stop recording